Hi, good evening. Well, hello, hello. Well, let's wait some seconds and minutes for others to get connected. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you? Fine, fine. I, in my little Friday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tomorrow it's a holiday. Yeah, you were sent the announcement, actually, I saw. Mm -hmm. It's a holiday tomorrow, so it's a national holiday that means no classes. Mm. Right. Okay. Well, apparently participants today are busy. We have quite a few. All right. Uh, hello? I hear some people. Welcome, good evening. Yeah, we're gonna wait probably a couple of minutes so some others join so that we can have some interaction, all right? Okay. Yeah, apparently everybody's getting ready for the holiday. <laughs> Without excuses.
All right, let's have the attendance. Let's go to the point, <laughs> okay? Let's see. This is for the, the date. It's November. The first of November. All right, I might see the people who have joined today. Let's get started. Okay, Carlos is a listener. He said he's driving. Christina, not here. Elsie, not yet. Present teacher. Hi, I didn't see you. Good evening. How are you? The signal is not good. All right, no problem, don't worry. Christina? Good evening, good evening. Hello. Okay. Yes. Hi. Yes, I don't see Fatima. Her mom, not yet. Okay. Victor, not yet. Isabel, not home, probably. Catherine. Lucy. Present. Hi. Mayra. Present. Hi. Okay. Nuri. Present teacher. Hi. Roberto. Hi. Uh, fine. <laughs> All right. Very, very tired. Tired. But oh, fine. I, I <laughs> yeah. believe you. <laughs> yes, it's been difficult lately. It's been really, really yeah. difficult. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Roberto Carlos, not here. Samuel. Present. Familia. Hi. Present teacher. Hi. Good evening. Walter. Not yet. Wendy. And Irma. Not yet, right? Okay. Oh, Catherine says present. Thank you, Catherine. Let's see. Let me fix it right here. Anybody else I didn't mention? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Roberto I Carlos Hernandez. Hey, Roberto Carlos. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. All right. Great. Let's see who else. Somebody else I didn't mention. Let's see a couple of. Oh, yes. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. <laughs> good, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Good. Doing good. All right. Nice. Somebody else? Probably I mentioned before. No, 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 no. Okay. Good. Well, it's time for the class. <laughs> okay. Maybe a tiring day, a busy day, a lot of work, a lot of stress, but let's get focused. All right. Yes, let me see. Yeah, this is. Can we continue talking about the unit two? We continue talking about the content related to the procedures in the restaurant. We're going to include a new structure. We started yesterday, actually, but we're going to keep practicing with that structure. It would be better. That's the structure we've been uh, trying to apply, trying to use in order to suggest for an improvement or a better alternative in the manual, right? When creating the manual, some steps for a procedure, those are the things that we're going to be describing as we started yesterday. All right, let's see. 
write on the chat whatever you remember from the class yesterday or whatever you think okay oh if you participated in class of course what you remember the practice the conversation the exercises whatever you remember write on the chat okay and if you didn't participate in class probably you have a question or you have a a doubt or anything that you would like to know okay but right now i want you to write something related to the class from yesterday on the chat okay you have one minute to write something go ahead Let's see it can be anything don't worry I'm going to read your comments. All right, let's get started. Yes, we talked about restaurant manuals and the order. That's right. Yesterday we did study about manuals, okay? The manuals and the improvement and the suggestions that we can make, right? Uh huh. What else? Let's see somebody else. Of procedures, exactly. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? What other things you can add about the class from yesterday? Remember, tomorrow no classes, so you will be resting and no practicing probably <laughs> because of the holiday. So let's try to do it as much as we can right now. Uh huh. Vocabulary or anything, a structure that you remember from yesterday. It's a right. No more comments? Oh, wow. Okay, the serving training manual. Okay, Catherine keeps writing, keeps giving ideas. Okay. <laughs> All right. About, okay, could be and couldn't be, I think. All right. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? It doesn't have to be a long explanation, just an idea. It's okay. All right. No more? Yes. I asked, I remember about manuals. Yes, and you were telling me about the different manuals. And the different instructions, different procedures that you follow for different activities for different reasons at work, right? Mm -hmm. So definitely we all have manuals, you know, even if it is manuals just to have safe relationships at work, right? So for good behaviors, for doing procedures, the way the the company policies require, okay, mm -hmm. exactly, we're talking about the works manuals, and if we believe there are something to change, okay, if we consider there are some needs for improvement, remember, there's always something to be improved, something to change, something to get better, that's why we introduced, and we started talking about the structure it would be better so it would be better introduces an idea of a suggestion it would be better if we do this this and this right it would be better if we add or we change or we modify something right so that's why yes 
we introduce that structure. Of course, yeah, we keep talking about the same. We keep reviewing. And yes, definitely, we're still talking about metals, and that's why we introduce in the conversation. In the sentence form, it would be better. But in the, let me see, let me just get that. Oh my God. Yes, here we go. If we get the, okay, this is in case I am suggesting, right? I am giving my opinion for a better alternative, right? Uh, an improvement, a change for better. And we do it in an affirmative way. We say it would be better if we include the server stress code in appearance in the first chapter. And the other one is giving the same idea of a suggestion, but they do it like a question form. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet customers and after that how they need to present the menu so the two ways are possible yeah all right let me get the text and i'm gonna write down right here let's see it will be better if blah 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 right and the other one is, okay, wouldn't it be better if, blah, 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 blah. okay, so those are the two ways the conversation presented, right? For example, you want to suggest something and you say, it would be better if, let's say, you want to modify something for the manual. In this case, of course, the lesson presents the improvement in the manual for the servers, for the staff that works in the restaurant, right? So you can see there that a good idea is that the servers have a nice dress code, a nice appearance, right? So as it says in the conversation, so it says, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter, right? So what you think, let's say, it would be better if we create or if we include the chapter one uh, about the dress code. Okay, that's another way to say it, but it's the same thing. You're just giving an alternative. We're just giving a suggestion, right? Or wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about the way servers greet customers, as it says here. And after that, okay, the other thing is that they are presented like, why don't we, why not, right? So why don't we include in chapter one, so wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about the way uh -huh. servers greet okay customers sorry and blah 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 and so on right so this is the introduction of the structure it would be better wouldn't it be better yes and kind of sounds like a tongue twister I was telling you because probably it's not a common or a very easy popular 
expression in English, but it's pretty useful, pretty common. Okay, so let me just clear this. All right, let's get this straight. And of course, then you are working on this suggestion, right? How to organize, you are working on how to organize the topics or the order, right, of the topics to create an index in the manual on the right. So these were some of the, the topics, some of the chapters that the manual should have. Is organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right, then present your index to the class and explain the reasons for your choice. We were working on this yesterday, and yes, not everybody probably have the same suggestion or the same order, so it's okay. All right. Did you do it on paper or did you do it on a digital form? Because whatever you did, it, it's okay. You can share the photo or you can share the screen to discuss about it, okay? Let's see. Setting a table in the manual, that should be the first one. Raise your hand or say that if that is a chapter one for you. Nobody. Nobody decided that the ta I mean setting the table topic should be on the chapter one. All right, fine, no problem. Okay, decanting wine for chapter one. Anyone? No, that's not as important as other topics are. Requesting a chief change. Obviously no, because <laughs> people. I mean, yeah. It's true that you sometimes it's a necessity. It's really urgent that you ask for a change, that you ask for a shift change, but probably is something that the owners or the manager of the restaurant won't put as a first topic, <laughs> definitely, because they're not willing to, to I mean, to give up permission for, for requests, right? Following the schedule as the chapter one, nobody? Addressing kitchen personnel? No. Getting to know the menu? <clears throat> Anybody put that one in the first one? No. The dress code? Neither. Addressing customers? about tips and taxes prevention of accidents and safety oh my god none of them <laughs> okay so teacher i consider the first one is getting to know the menu getting to know the menu yes why um because it's the first one the something that is um waiter uh, for example uh, the first one, the um, sorry, sorry, the first one, the hair or sh uh, she or his no, it's about the menu because it's a training of servers. Right, that's really important, okay, to know the menu because it's knowing about his or her work, right? So that could be the chapter number one, okay. So knowing about the menu is important because that's what the customers are going to ask about, right? Even if you have the menu printed or in a digital version, I mean, if a customer asks you, you won't just tell, okay, look at the menu, guess, or try to make up your mind, right? So you have to give details in case the customer asks, right? Okay, good. Anybody else had a different option for chapter one? I think teacher uh, dress code is very important for uh, personal. Uh, is uh, uh, como, como se dice? So all all uh, now uh, la forma the correcta de, de vestir. The right dress code. Uh, yes. 
<laughs> yes, it is necessary that all the personnel know the right way to dress. Okay, for this type of job, especially, right? Because when you're serving food, you're dealing with the practically the life of the customers because it's what they're eating. So they need to trust the way you look as a server, right? Okay, definitely. So you consider the dress code should be chapter one or for chapter two? Uh, I think ch chapter one. Chapter uh, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it should be before knowing the menu. Um, bueno, para mí. I, I <laughs> think so. It's all right. I think Just so. I think um, so. Uh, mm -hmm. y, um, uh, the image, uh, no, mm -hmm. imagine, ¿cómo se dice imagen? The image. Image uh, mm -hmm. is very important for a restaurant. And uh, it's the first impression. O sea, es la mm -hmm. primera impresión. The first impression, right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, uh, if a um, restaurant is so uh, disordered, disorder. Messy or disorder. Disorder. It's no good or they look. Mm -hmm. Yes, and probably the customers won't be attracted, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So anybody else? Any other options for chapter one? No more? All right. So I bet you had different perspective and that's okay. That was the idea why we have the activity to organize the order in which this um, topics should be in the training manual. Of course, it's a training for servers, for a staff that is going to serve, that is going to work in a restaurant, right? So that's the idea, okay? Let's see. I'm going to ask you to share your ideas of what you discussed since yesterday and to compare. Probably now you're not gonna be working with the same people and that's okay. But you're going to be comparing what you suggested and at least give a reason why you suggest this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, and defend your opinion, exactly what you were just doing. Is I consider the most important or the number one chapter is this because this, this, and this, all right? So probably we're gonna get big groups because uh, some participants won't be able to talk. So that's why, okay? Okay, what are we going to do? De ayer. Yeah. Ordinarlo. Teacher, I want to share my screen. All right, just a minute. Thank you.
siembra. Ah, cabal. Ahí está, cabal, escribiéndole estaba la teacher. Teacher, queremos compartir. Ahí está, gracias. Listo. Vaya. Para hola. Un... Hola. Como... hola. Hola, hola. No, no, no. No, que me están llamando, pero... Por ahí. No, está, está difícil. Porque nosotros lo que hicimos ayer fue completamente Ajá. diferente. O sea, era como, como en qué orden. Eh, tendría que ordenarse el, el, el manual, o sea, ¿qué, ¿qué se explicaría primero? ¿Qué es lo que tendríamos que...? Como cuando le damos el, la inducción a alguien, más ¿Algo o menos. Así? Ajá. Algo así. Ajá. Exacto. ¿Y Entonces, ustedes querían dejarlo primero? El, el dress code, o sea, el código, el, el cómo, cómo se tiene que vestir. Ajá, Ajá. exacto. Después el addressing cost, customer. O sea, como entendíamos que era como la, la orientación. Pero se piensa. Addressing customer. Uh -huh. Es como sí. al cliente. Algo así considero yo. Como es, 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 es very important. Como, como tratar al cliente. Ahí dijo una compañera, por ejemplo. Eh, getting to know the menu como eh, saber acerca del menú ajá pero igual podríamos nosotros ver cuál consideramos que es como el más importante de todo y, y luego ir haciendo la, el segundo chapter 2 y así según, según dice la indicación este content in a service training manual organize the topic to create the index for mm -hmm. the right the impression during the, the class and explain the reason for the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿sí sería addressing customer number one. I think, but uh, no sé si usted piensa. Pero yo sí considero que es como es importante saber cómo dirigirse al cliente. El menú también es importante porque... Es importante. Mm, pero, no sé, a mí se me hace. Lo podríamos ver ahí si, si coincidimos en eso. Yo digo que sí. Este, sí. Seguido de ese... Entonces, pero tenemos que decir... The, first, the number one or the first is addressing customer. Entonces tenemos que decir why, porque por qué consideramos que es lo más importante. Tenemos que decir algo acerca de eso. No, lo voy a anotar. Number one. Addressing. Customers. Uh, yo con, bueno, como diciéndolo un poco en inglés, I consider that it's very important how to direct uh, the personal to the restaurant uh, from the clients or from the customers. The attention. ¿Verdad? De good attention es, okay. es important. I, I think okay. queremos decir algo así. Ok, voy a escribir. That. The attention. Attention the custom one of the most important 
este, ¿cuál era? Getting to know the menu. Ajá. Porque... Eh, y miren, y vaya, ¿por qué no dejamos primero como la política interna? Como, ¿La cual, perdón? Como política interna, vaya, como el, el código de vestimenta, los horarios, y cómo solicitar cambios de horario y propinas. Porque eso es como más interno. Sí. En definitiva es más interno. Ajá, entonces es como más interno y después de lo más interno empezamos con lo que decía Walter, que es un poco más importante, como dirigirse a los clientes, como dirigirse al personal de cocina, porque es como el respeto, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, correcto. Y Así de es. ahí conocer el menú, poner una mesa, el tema de vinos y dejamos la prevención de accidentes al final. Al Yo, final y abajo de tips de taxis. Yo estoy de acuerdo. Uh -huh. bueno, entonces, entonces, veamos, entonces pero... Cristina, el primero dijo que era Dress Code. Ah, Code. Dress Code. Cabal. Uh -huh. Después, Schedule. Schedule. Ajá. Espérame, 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 espérame. Que lo voy a anotar. Porque me Following the Schedule. Uh, following the Schedule. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Adresa. Requesting achieve change. ¿Cómo dar cambio de horario? Espérame. Eh, era. Boom, 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 boom. Requesting a shift change. Change. Ajá. Change. Y después. About tips and taxes. En las propinas y los impuestos. Uh, no, eso, eso no. Direccionamiento. Customer actions. Discover events. Person. De ahí, esa es la tree. Y ahí va a tener que subir la cuatro. Sí, no, eh, ya estoy viendo el otro. Eh, quiero ver. Pues code addressing kitchen or personal, addressing customer, que sería para determinar la, la vestimenta. Ah, sí, customer, sí. Otra vez, customer. Customer. Bah. Y usted todavía está en guate. No, no, ya regresé. <risa> ya me hice famoso por eso. <risa> 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 Todo el mundo se, <risa> se dio cuenta. <risa> Vaya, de ahí, eh, para ya terminar con todo eso, le pongo cinco a este. Tienen uh -huh. a table. Ay, me equivoqué. Vale, entonces quedaría prevention of accident of sailing, dress a call, addressing kitchen personal, addressing customer, setting a table, picanting uh -huh. wine. Uh -huh. ¿O cuál prefiere? Eh, sería y la about tips a sax text o cómo sería ¿Cuál? la ul, de la, la última la segunda fila de abajo hacia arriba esta ajá about tips about uh, tips and taxes taxes tips es es propina ah uh, esa sería de último ajá sí para no ver no está interesado eh, no sé si ponemos de canting wine. De canting wine. Y... de vinos. Ajá, podría ser. 
Como es uno de los más importantes eh, como aspectos. Ah, ¿no? Es más. Ajá. Ajá, uno de los, yo considero que es uno de los más importantes por el, por el mismo uh -huh, hecho de que uh -huh. se sientan acogidos en el, en, en, en el lugar. Ok. Donde... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, aspectos. Okay, number two, eh, let's call. Oh, but you, you say, you, you say, este, um, uh, let me see, let me see, eh, uh, um, let's see, let's see, eh, dress code, dijo que había. Dress code, dress code. Uh -huh. Pero se puede cambiar, digamos. We, we can choose in the second and the getting to get the menu. Ah, ok. Ok. No. Conocer. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Why no van a decir? ¿Por qué? Es la razón. Por. Voy en el restaurante. Uh, it's very uh, it's, it's important too because uh, the the customer is attract attracted como sería atraído por lo que ahí, o sea le atrae lo, 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 le interesa o le atrae la, según lo que esté en el, ajá la, la variedad o los tipos de 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 food que uh -huh. el restaurante tiene, digamos, sí. Conocer el menú. Uh -huh. eh, es importante. Uh -huh. Very important. Um, because the customer decida eh, Ajá, o, o como uh, consume to decide what to eat well, Es eh, es importante, ajá, o sea, es importante conocer eh, the variety of foods that the restaurant ajá. have, digamos, como la variedad de comida que el restaurante tiene. Ajá, ok, the variety of food, the restaurant. Es mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's important because the customer. It's important to know the body. Hola. Ah, 
Hi, teacher. <laughs> Finish. Yes. Done. All right, let's have a look. From room number one, we had Christina, Hector, and Walter, right? Only three participated. Yes? Yep. Who is going to share with the class your conclusion? Share, not necessarily share in the screen. Share, explaining. Mm -hmm. Christina, go ahead. <laughs> Democracy. Lady, you're first. <laughs> Ladies first. Lady first. Right. Democracy and, and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Very gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> My group, um, uh, agree, propose, mm -hmm. uh -huh, propose, <laughs> uh, first, dress code, mm -hmm. uh, second, uh, following the schedule, mm -hmm. uh -huh. third, um, requesting a chief change. Mm -hmm. Fourth is um, addressing kitchen personnel. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, uh, next is addressing customer. Mm -hmm. um, um, Ah, setting a table. Setting a table. Mm -hmm. Setting a table, getting to know the menu. Decating mm -hmm. wine. Win. Mm -hmm. Wine. Uh, wine. Okay. About tip and tactics. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Finally, prevention of accident and safety. <laughs> All right. Safety. <laughs> Safety. All right, good. Thank you, Christina. Nice. Let's see how democratic the group number two is. We got Elsie, <laughs> Isabel, Nuri, and Victoria. Uh huh. Who's the brave one from number two? Mm -hmm. Kelsey, can you can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Democracy too. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Um, I I don't I don't. Uh, you didn't you, take notes. You didn't be in, in the last class. Ah, I was not in last okay. class. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, and the group. Uh, I think. Um, the first, first. Mm -hmm. first addressing customer. Addressing customers. Mm -hmm. uh, second, getting to know the menu. Mm -hmm. uh, three, uh, dress code. Four, setting a table. Uh, five, following the shelf. Yes, can you? Uh, pick mm -hmm. addressing kitchen person. Mm -hmm. uh, seven, the counting wine. Uh, eighteen, requesting a ship shank. Mm -hmm. uh, night, preventing of accident and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, ten about tips and taxes. Tips and taxes, all right. 
<laughs> okay, nice. Good. Reactions for LP. Awesome. Let's see. The number three group was for Man, Roberto, and Wendy. Hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. You are the chosen one. <laughs> 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 well, it's the winner. Oh, really? <laughs> you made a six, competition and she won. Six, uh, verdad, teacher? As you wish. Mm -hmm. uh, the can win met, uh, had me to won the oh. menu, Paul win the chase. Nice, como te dice? Chip Paul wins the schedule. 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 Races a fit chase. About tips and taxes. Okay. So you say from number six to number ten. Yes. And the other ones are more important. And those could be all turned from number one to number five. Yeah. Uh, number one, prevented of accident um safety. Safety. Two. Uh-huh. And rest could Mm -hmm. That's number two. Y, uh, addressing kitchen personal. That's number three. Yes. Mm -hmm. y, for for uh, addressing customer. Addressing customers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Setting a table. Setting a table would be number five. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for sharing. Okay. Very brave. Let's see. The next group was Catherine, Mayra, and Samuel. Okay. <laughs> in our case, we ordered the chapter in this in the, the following point. The first one is a dress code. Mm -hmm. The second one is getting to the menu and then addressing kitchen personnel, sit on a table, decanting wine. Next, uh, addressing customer, uh, following the schedule, tip and taxes, requesting a chief uh, change, and finally, accident and safety. Mm -hmm. All right. What makes you decide for the last one, for example? Um, because because, uh -huh. because uh, in our case, we decide work inside to inside to outside. Mm -hmm. And the first part was uh, the the dress code and uh, from the, the personal. Next, mm -hmm. the tables and the menu. Next, the administrative part. And the last part was the safety and security. Because mm -hmm. I have noticed that some groups, not only yours, left the safety and preventing accident at the last point. Okay. So that is necessary, let's say it is important, but probably not the most important, right? Yeah. <laughs> for the, for, for the, the, the day or day uh, in a restaurant, is it's important, yes, but how do you? How, <clears throat> As you say, well, it's, it's not, not a that, priority. You yeah. are already know your work, and you already an adult. You're already a professional, and you're supposed to, yes, take care of your own integrity. All yeah. right, yeah. And taxes and tips. Why some groups leave it at the end? Do you think customers are interested in tips? 
<laughs> Sometimes in restaurants, it's not optional, right? It should be, but at least in our country, it's not optional. It's included, right? Yeah. Uh huh. But in other countries, it depends of the service, how pleased the customer is. They already have like a range of percentages from 15 to 20 percent, right here. If the tip is included in the in the ticket or in the bill, they give you like the highest percentage, right? The 20 sure. percent. Mm -hmm. And and then this restaurant is 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 there some manera? Really, it's optional. Yeah, it's optional. Because uh, of the American philosophy. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Depende cómo se ha sentido el servicio. Right, that's the way it should be. But the thing is that here, if the restaurant leave it optional, many people wouldn't give, wouldn't tip, right? Even if the service was good, right? So that's why probably many restaurants already included in the ticket, all right? Okay, good. Well, let's have the attendance for the second time. Now I see more people. See, oh, Adriana, something happened to her. Carlos. Present teacher. How are you? You got home? A little tired. Tired, tired, tired. I know. Elsie. Present teacher. Fine. Yes. Are you okay? Are you okay. Yeah. All right, Fatima, not here for mine. Present teacher. Hector. Present teacher. Isabel. Present. Uh -huh. Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present. Roberto. Samuel. Present. Vitalia. Walter, Wendy, I am his teacher. Irma. Nahir. I I hear teacher. Hi, hello. For connecting in, in the moment. No problem. I I have meeting today. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so sad for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it usually happens when it's almost time to go. We have a meeting. <laughs> no surprise meeting. <laughs> that is not included the a, the in a, the manual. The A E M uh, for um, six six thirty. <laughs> the Long a. shift from A A M to six thirty P M. Yeah. And for lunch, do you have an hour or only 45 minutes? Uh, uh, excuse me, repeat. Okay, for lunch, do you have one hour or only 45 minutes? For for me. 40. For, for me, uh -huh. 40 lunch, minutes. For me. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes for lunch. Sí, yes. <laughs> Pero el tráfico estaba pesado, así que acabo de venir. Terrible, terrible. Ay, no. Cada vez que medio holiday y ya todo el mundo anda locado. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> What's wrong yes. with the world? Okay. I want to continue singing. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Algún change que ustedes quisieran que se hicieran los manuales de sus company? Aquí entre nos. No le voy a decir a nadie. Ah. <ríe> en The Video. Todo no. va a quedar grabado y en YouTube. Y ni tenemos. <ríe> bueno, a mí. It's okay. Ah. It's in English. You don't and have metal. Happened, and what happened with Samuel? We don't see a hit fire because he talked about the manuals. It's not permitted. <laughs> no. Really? Yeah. It's confidential information. I'll, the ninety percent of the information of our, our company is confidential. Okay, Samuel is excused, but the rest. Time uh, <laughs> but the rest. 
Uh-huh. Any improvement? A break. Yes. A break. A coffee break. Yes. Maybe we say a coffee break because that's the way it is called. Not necessarily you have to drink coffee, but a break to a stretch, to walk, to breathe. Mm -hmm. To unwind, okay, a break should be included. Uh huh. Any other suggestion? It would be better if we have a break in the whole schedule. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Usted, Tina. <laughs> you request for it, I mean. In my, in my company, um, for me, dress code. The dress very code. Important. It's very, very important, important for for all, all person because um, in the plan, uh, the girls, um, no, chiki falda. They look terrible. Si vas, <laughs> si Leggings transparent. Transparent. Quiero <laughs> leggings transparent. ¿A dónde dice que trabaja? Ay, no, no, no. Usted no está permitiendo en esta conversación. Remember that you are excused. It's manufacturing. I know. That, that's another thing. Exactly. In factories, yes, the dress code. Sometimes this can be a solution when they receive a uniform because they have to wear a uniform right but sometimes they only receive a shirt in the bottom part whatever they want i know <laughs> okay uh -huh. any other possibility to improve the schedules yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. What's your schedule like? Uh, uh, in my job, um, in the morning, uh, I have a fifteen minutes uh, for coffee or drink water, mm -hmm. um, and in medium. Uh, one hour, hour uh, for lunch for, for my lunch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, what time do you start and what time do you finish? Um, I start at 8 uh, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and finish at uh, 5 uh, p.m. That's fine from 8 to 5. Yep, all right, and you don't work on the weekends. Uh, no, it's free. Con razón estás aplicando su sketch. To be an office work, I mean, from eight to five. I mean, it's okay. But some people start working at six a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Six a.m. at work. Imagine. No despierta todavía. <laughs> I'm still sleeping. <laughs> All right. What about the request? The policies. Cuando ustedes tienen que hacer algún uh, solicitud de permiso. Not necessarily that you get a chief to change, but you have to request for permission to be absent, to leave early, to get there late because you have a medical appointment or because you have a, a family. Sometimes, yeah, family emergency could be. Uh -huh. Tienen que seguir algún procedure para hacer la solicitud de, de permission? O solo le mandan un WhatsApp al boss? I, know I, am, I, sending, am. I am sending mail uh, my Boss, um, yeah, it's, it's all. <laughs> That's all. Depends, depends, it area. depends of the area. Mm. All right. But you can do it like immediately or you have to request for permission like in a week before. Or it also depends of the emergency of the situation. Because in my work, we even have to write an email in 
we have to complete a form to leave all the details why we need the request and they have to know like everything and of course if it is an emergency you have to just call but if it is a permission that you know in advance you have to request with a week or two in advance so with two weeks before so that's what i'm saying okay any other improvement? No more? Are you sure? Vaya, después finalmente, no lo dejes expresar. I told you to express. Okay. Let's go on. Okay, we're just finished reordering the index for this uh, manual, for the server training manual. And of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the class, this structure, wouldn't it be better? It would be better was introducing the conversation. And this is the explanation. What better is used to express? Mm -hmm. A strong. A strong advice, advice or, or suggestion. Suggestion, okay. Yes. Would better, como que sería mejor si, would better is used to express a strong advice or suggestion. Subject plus would be, would be better plus the infinitive. It would be better to let employees decide what process to change. As an example. It would be better to let employees decide what process to change. It would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Okay, two examples in which the structure, it would be better to do this, this, and this. It would be better to blah, 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 blah. It would be better to, so that is the structure. Then we have other expressions to provide suggestions. Okay, esta es una forma. Pero aquí tenemos otras alternativas, right? To express, okay, other expressions to provide suggestions or alternative. Would you prefer? Wouldn't it be better to? It would be good if. It would be good if we had a professional to complete the manual. So it would be good, it would be better. So sounds very similar. Okay. Or in case of a question, you say, would you prefer to have a professional to complete the manual? Or wouldn't it be better to have a professional to complete the manual? Okay. So these are all our alternatives. Okay. So following these examples following these explanations we have an exercise put the words in the correct order to make sentences and questions what you have to be careful is with the question mark if you have a question mark definitely it's question if you don't have a question mark it is a sentence so you put the words in order here you have you prefer to have with a different schedule. What I was asking you, would you prefer to have a different schedule? And this sentence sounds to me like if it is a question, okay? So, unless that you say you would prefer to have a different schedule, but if you say, would you prefer to have a different schedule? It's a question, so I need a question mark. So be really careful. You have to organize the ideas to make a sentence or a question. Yes? Clear? Clear, clear, clear. How are you going to do it? Follow the example. Follow the structure. All right. We're going to... It would be better if we make different groups. Yes. 
Let's go. Sí. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Lo pueden ver? No. ¿Ya lo está compartiendo usted? Sí, no sé si ustedes lo están viendo, no. Ah, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Excelente. That's it. Ok. Ahí está. Bueno. We are to organize uh, in a good way in order the sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it wouldn't. If, if it's a question, we have to write first go. Yes. If, if, if it's not a question, we have to write it. Mm -hmm. it, it. Mm -hmm. To correct. Okay. But I, yo ya, ya hice el ejercicio en la, en la task, en las tareas. Mm -hmm. Sí. Y hay dos que no me salen. Siempre me salen. No sé si alguno de ustedes ya la hizo. Sí, de hecho, <coughs> no sé, yo la hice también y me dan error algunas también. No sé por qué. Sí, sí, aún siguiendo la, la, la. Ajá. Error. Entonces, bueno, según yo, la, 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 okay. la he contestado. Uh -huh. según ah, pues el, no el solo ejemplo. soy yo. Ajá. Porque Pero igual. Siempre da error, no sé por qué. Uh -huh. Teacher, can you help us? All right, right now I'm going to check and I'll let you know why. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, we. Uh, Entonces, por ejemplo, la number two sería it would be better be y sería it wouldn't be better. It no, would wouldn't, be wouldn't, because it's a question. Uh, it's have a to question? use wouldn't. First, the word. Mark, uh, there is a question mark to the end. It's a question because how the sign ah. question the, the, Sí, ya vi el signo de interrogación uh -huh. al final. Uh -huh. Then sí. we have to uh -huh. uh, write first wouldn't. Uh -huh. I, I wouldn't think. it be better? Mm. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wouldn't okay, it be right. better to revise the manual before printing? Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. wouldn't it? Wouldn't be, it be better? Be better. Mm -hmm. To revise the manual before printing. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? I think it's correct. La otra no es pregunta, solamente es oración así normal. Mm -hmm. Entonces, we have to write. It, uh -huh. it would be. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería, it would, uh -huh, it would be it good, would. Uh -huh, it would be good if, if we change the dress code. If we code. change the dress code. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it, Ponga la tres. It would. It would be it, good. Uh -huh. It would. It would. Uh -huh. 
Uh, it would be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. If if we change the dress code. If, if change the dress code. Uh huh. Sería la tres. <coughs> Cuatro. La cuatro Good. tampoco es pregunta, sería... It would be. Uh -huh. It would be... Sería a good idea. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. Uh -huh. It would be a good idea to have a manual training. To have a training manual for chef. It, it would... If, if we... es, que, es, que, es que cuando hablan todos no, no les entiendo. Ajá. Ay, solo sería el it en lugar del we porque no pueden ir dos. Ajá. Entonces sería. Como va desde el principio. It will it, be good. It. It will. It will. It will. It be good. Be good. If. Quiero ver. Pero es good, good, ¿verdad? It good, would be. It would be good. Good. Uh -huh. If be good. we change the dress code. If we, if change. Uh -huh. Es como el ejemplo que tenemos acá, uh -huh. que dice, it will be good be if good. Ah, we sí, have a professional. It uh -huh. will be good if. If we, uh -huh. if. If we change the dress code. Ajá, it, the dress code. Ahí está. Así. It, it will be good if we good. if we change 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 it. Uh -huh. change change the dress code. The dress code. Ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Eh, está complicado este volado. <laughs> <laughs> vale, la tres ya estuvo. La cuatro, ah, la mango, son cinco. It will yeah. be a good idea to have a training manual to chef. Come, 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 come. It, it will, will, it will be. Uh huh. Will be, be a good idea. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. To have a training. Be good. Está la picha. Cambiar el código de vestimenta. Picher. Hello. Uh, number two, the, the group um, colocamos, digamos, el soldier siempre fervor. So the first is it. It is would will wouldn't be 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 better. To revise the manual before printing. Mm -hmm. So, look, come on, can you one question more? Can you can say it wouldn't? Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be better? Ah, uh, cuando cuando se inicia con wouldn't? Cuando eso está en forma de pregunta y ahí tiene al final el signo de interrogación. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Entonces hay que formularlo como pregunta. Exacto, pero eso como no sería mejor idea ah, así la idea. Uh -huh. Y entonces el soche cómo queda? Es, but wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't no hay que el auxiliar, el wouldn't, ahí está como un auxiliar. Y el mm -hmm. subject es el it. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Uh -huh. Ok. Pero sabíamos eso. Right, no problem. Thank you. All right. Lo vas a ingresar, Isabel. Sí, así lo he ingresado, pero no, no funciona. Como pregunta. Uh -huh. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't en la plataforma no le funciona así. No me funciona. ¿Y qué número de, de ejercicio en la plataforma? Es el. Número 
Es el number nine. Ajá, es. Del ejercicio sí. es el 2.11, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y la oración es la number... Two. Two. Yes, y, y la number five. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Y le ponen el question mark. Yes. Ok, envíe la captura okay. al grupo de WhatsApp. Mm. Yo voy a enviar una también porque el 2.9, 2.8 creo que es. Ajá. Finally okay. no lo agarra. Ajá, para que lo, para que lo revise porque esa sí es la correcta. Y yo veo la sugerencia de, de preguntas y sí, así lo ponen. Yo la debería aceptar como correcta. Mm. Yo sí ya la había visto, pero igual estuve intentando hacerla y no, no me salía en la bueno, clase. Preguntémosle a la teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Ya más o menos tenemos aquí dibujado la cosa, pero vamos el, a discutirla. El usted. problem de la plataforma. Yeah. Yeah. Sí. Yeah. ¿Cuál pero, es la que, la que no les da? ¿La number two y la number five? Four y five. Four and five. Pero, pero yo sí voy a volver a intentar porque no estoy seguro si fue yo puse mal el orden. Okay. Wow. Pero no sé, o sea, Four acá nosotros no queda así. Would it be better to let the manager decide? Okay. Desde que la dos como la hemos dejado, ya la había escrito yo, pero no me la agarra en la plataforma. Ah, Carlos, pero a mí sí me la aceptó así. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Before printing, yes. Ajá. Yo no me la acepto. Porque aquí... Como respuesta uh -huh. correcta, si dice wouldn't, ¿le han puesto wouldn't. mayúscula al inicio? Yes. El question mark. Um, no. Ah, <risa> ah, yo creo que a las 5 yo puse mal el. El, el wouldn't el it be better to let the manager decide. Ah, sí, sí. Sí, esa. Pero igual no me lo agarro. Sí. Aunque ya le puse el signo de interrogación. Ok. Pero, Carlos, quizás se la ah, voy a mandar. Sé. El apóstrofe la va a estar dando con otra tecla. Mm, la estar dando con no, la tilde. Ya me apareció el signo de interrogación. Ajá. No, pero para el apóstrofe del wouldn't. 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 Ah. Uh -huh. Si tiene una configuración diferente y la está dando con la tilde en lugar del apóstrofe, no todo lo se lo va a aceptar. Se va a poner como incorrecto. Y en la number five veo que hay un espacio después de decide y luego ponen el question mark. Wait a moment. Está ese espaciado, ¿verdad? The decide. Uh -huh. mm, sí, hay un espacio. Ajá, hay un espacio. Yes, me la acepto. <risa> sí, es que a veces son como esos mínimos. Ajá. Ajá. Es ahí. Sí, porque es que en la configuración me acuerdo, sé que es una. La, un, la un cuatro, si no sé por qué no me la acepto. <risa> la number four dice: It would be a good idea to have a training manual for a chef. Ese es el Ajá. punto. To have. Um, Um, it will be el it inicia con capital siempre iniciamos con mayúscula recuerden uh -huh. it would be a good idea to have a training manual for to chef have, to have a training a uh, training manual for it. chef
Esa es la for. Uh -huh. Yes. ¿Cómo quedaría, teacher? It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Chef. Okay. Ah, pues sí está. Salían bien la 1 y la 4. Uh -huh. La 2, 3 y 5 todavía no me salen. <risa> y a mí la 4 pues, nunca me quedó. Lo habíamos escrito nosotros, teacher. Uh -huh. Yo creo que la, la configuración de la tecla de la tilde con el apóstrofe debe estar confused. Tal vez estoy probando una y otra, pero... En la contraction de it wouldn't, I mean, or wouldn't it. Ah. ¿Cuál es, eh, Carlos, la dos dice, vea. Sí, o sea, estoy probando las diferentes opciones. Si quiere, la, la pongo ahí, la, la puedo poner ahí en el grupo, teacher. Ajá, y que la copie. Ah, sí, solo la copia ah, y la pegas. Para que la copie y la pegue, porque a mí me salió, me salió bien. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Entonces, ahorita <ríe> la voy a colocar ahí, Carlos. Vaya, gracias. El technical service. ¿Y, y cuál, cuál <risa> otra dice? <risa> Esa es la que está ahí. ¿Sí? Ah, ok, la voy a... Ah, la voy a... Number two, hijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Voy a Solo esa. <risa> Solo esa. <risa> <risa> Anything else. <risa> <risa> Qué campeona. <risa> No puedo con la cuatro aquí. Solo es gratis, la otra pura. Hay otra que no lo agarra, Tisha. Dígame, ¿cuál? Number five. Uh -huh. Vaya, la number five, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, después de decide, deje un espacio y luego pone el question. Mark. ¿El qué? Un espacio con la barra. Un espacio. Ajá. Y luego le pone el question. Y hace una interrogación. Uh -huh. Ah. Probaste, Isabel. Pero no. No la acepta. No la acepto. Ok. <coughs> Inició con mayúscula. Yes. Wouldn't it be better Wouldn't to let be the better? manager decide a space question mark? Yes. Va, en ese caso, la configuración de la tilde y el apóstrofe puede ser que esté variando. Pruebe con la otra, si no es la tilde, con el apóstrofe, con la apóstrofe, con la tilde. Y en la configuración de teclas, a veces hay, hay como una discrepancia, por eso no la acepto. Tengo tres tipos de tilde para poner. Tres tipos. Sí, por, el, por la contracción del wouldn't. Copiar no mejor. Ajá, Copiar la, el archivo y lo pegas. Copiar la frase. Ya lo copié y no me lo quiso agarrar. Pues bueno, la tilde del, del libro está mal. Está mal, como dice el, el chapulín, la tilde del libro está mal. La tilde del libro. Sí. Sí, cierto. A ver qué tal entonces. Sí. We finished, teacher. Teacher. We're done. All right, thank you. No problems? I think no. no. All right, great. All right, let's take a look. Vaya, por acá estaba escuchando las, las complaints, ¿verdad? <laughs> que no les acepto las respuestas en la plataforma. Ok, veamos. Wait a second. Vamos a mover un poquito el menú. 
up right here. I'm gonna sweep them up like that. And then annotate. I think it would be better if we change the color. Okay. The first one is already done. It says, would you prefer to have a different schedule? Number two. Okay, come on, kill number two. Come on, it, it will be good. It will be good. All right, that would be number three or number two. Number, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, number <laughs> number two. Uh, I cross, I cross my idea. <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't. Be better? wouldn't yeah wouldn't it be better better mm -hmm. to revise to revise the manual before printing mm -hmm. the manual before printing printing yes printing press okay and the question Okay, so wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Yes. Yes, it's because right. you already have the question mark, right? So mm -hmm. we just respect that. Okay. Number three. Mm -hmm. Number three. It will be. It will be good. It would be good uh -huh. if, we if we change the dress code. If we change we the dress change code. The okay. This is a sentence. So we don't yes. need a question mark, right? So it would, be, it would be good if we change the dress code. If we change with D right because it's a hypothetical situation so it, would, it would be good if we change the dress code all right so here we just add the period all right next it would be a good idea okay it would be a good idea uh -huh. to have to have a training manual for chef a training i'm sorry double a a training manual for, for chef. chef for chef in plural Okay, it would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Okay, done. And the last one. Is wouldn't... Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't okay. it be better? It would be better. Wouldn't it be to better? Better. To let the manager. To let the, the manager, manager decide. 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 I will decide. Okay, hold on. Just want to change the capitalization. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? And the question mark, right? So it's a question form. Wouldn't wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Wouldn't. Uh, right. Wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't usually you usually omit or kind of ignore the L so you say would wouldn't okay. wouldn't wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide all right be better. questions los que no habían logrado resolver este ejercicio en la plataforma a veces yeah. ajá, a veces lo que lo que falla les comentaba es que la configuración de la tilde o del apostrofe en la configuración de nuestro teclado no coincide con el setting de la página ya 
o a veces eh, por algún typo hay algún espacio entre la última letra y el question mark que es el caso de la number 5 que tienen en el ejercicio ¿okay? so, por eso a veces no les coincide pero si los comparten igual on the group and then you just copy and paste probably you get the right answer well the structure is that okay if it is an affirmative you start with it it would if it is a question form you should start with wouldn't it right all right any question any other question no are you sure really sure yes, yes. all right great okay <ríe> alternative vaya no lo vamos a hacer con el index porque ya le dimos como bastante tiempo le dedicamos bastante tiempo al index pero en el chat vamos a escribir dos oraciones usando it would be better or it would be a good idea dos oraciones de cualquier sugerencia que ustedes quieran hacer ya sea del trabajo ya sea del manual ya sea de cualquier situation en este caso lo vamos a dejar como más libre dos usando it would be better or it would be a good idea y las otras wouldn't it en forma de pregunta wouldn't it be better so tienen que escribir cuatro two in the structure of a sentence and two in the question structure okay So, I'm going to give you some examples, and then, voy a escribir acá, let me see, vamos a tratar de buscar acá el lapicito, vamos a escribir, for example, the structure of the sentence would be, it would be better if, We copy all the words. Digamos que mi suggestion es para mejorar el vocabulary. Yeah, it would be better if we copied all the words. Yes, esa una de forma de sentence, right? Another one would be it would be a good idea to have a, to have an online dictionary digamos que la suggestion también es para vocabulary Teacher. to improve right teacher yes we have a question uh, yes. When use uh, better and when use uh, good. Es lo mismo. Y, y, It's the same. Cuando se me dé la gana. Exactly. Cuando se quiera. Cuando se sienta más cómodo que it would be better, it would be a good idea, it would be good. En realidad lo que está diciendo es, sería buena idea, sería bueno, sería mejor. Ok. Uh -huh. But it's as you wish. As you please. <laughs> Bye. Esto sería Thank como... You. Yes, no problem. Entonces serían como los ejemplos de sentence structure. La voy a escribir acá abajo. ¿Cómo sería en the question form? Okay, wouldn't it be better if... Oh, sin ni siquiera usar el if. Wouldn't it be better to have an... English manual, digamos. Ya lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Pero solo es para hacer el examen. Wouldn't it be better to have an English manual? Mm -hmm. Or another example. Wouldn't it be El manual lo presenta nada más. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be a good idea? Puede estar también. Wouldn't it be good? I'm sorry about my neighbor's dog. 
wouldn't it be good to to read the lesson every day yes so it's like just an example entonces se van a escribir dos usando así como estructura de sentence y dos usando estructura de question obviamente se puede hacer suggestions recommendations de cualquier cosa yo las enfoqué todas como en la clase but you can do it about the work you can do it about the manuals at your job you can do it about anything or about the class even if you want teacher yes uh, uh, la sentencia positiva uh, it would uh, could elimino el be It Pero would. abajo, cuando yo contesto, o sea, cuando yo, cuando yo pregunto, agrego el B, ocupo el B. It would be a good idea, actually, sí, yo lo omití en la segunda. But it's, let me see. Clear, the viewer's drawing. All right. It would be a good idea. Aquí me faltó el B. It would be a good idea. Yes. No, it's, 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 it's no, sí, sí lo lleva. It would be a good idea. Sería buena idea. Yes, I, I skipped it. But it's necessary. It would be better. It would be a good idea. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for the observation. Bye. Vamos a ver, vamos a leer sus recommendations, sus suggestions on the chat. Two and two. Okay. and hacer la evaluation of writing uh -huh. great one second please All right. The first sentence, it would be nice to eat early. Yes, correct. It would be better to work sometimes from home, to work sometimes in the house. It would be better to to do some home office, right? Okay, it would be a good idea to make a party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why not? We're just suggesting. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's give it a thought. Wouldn't it be better to go shopping in the morning? Yes, totally agree. It would be a good idea to have a few minutes to rest. Right? 
<laughs> yes, taking into account the suggestions that somebody previously made. Wouldn't it be better to have more time to share? It would be a good idea if the boss let us come late sometime or let us go early sometime. <laughs> yes, to me it's more convenient if I can leave earlier. Okay, nice. Wouldn't it be better to take shower at 4 a.m.? Oh my god, that's really challenging with the water from La Pila, you know? So it would be better if in the groups everybody can participate. It would be a lot better. <laughs> it would be better if all the class take us a photo group. Oh, that's a great idea, actually. Wouldn't it be better if someday we have classes in person? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, it would be better if, okay, if we change the video in the English platform, right? It would be a good idea if we have, oh, if we can go to the beach, all right? It would be better to go to the beach tomorrow instead of the cemetery <laughs> all right <laughs> okay what a nice suggestion it would be better if we go early to the job it would be better if you take an english person instead of italian first okay wouldn't it be better to have a dessert after lunch that sounds awesome all right great Yes, agree, 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 agree. Yes, all right. Oh my god. Okay. So we still have new new messages. It would be better to go to the market on Saturday. Wouldn't it be a good idea to get up early tomorrow? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, it would be better if we the, if the class ended right now. All right. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Okay. Let's see. When it better if we All right. That, I read this one already nice <laughs> the same one okay no more no more suggestions but wouldn't it be better wouldn't it be a good idea it would be a good idea it would be good it would be better all right no problems let me see oh no wait a second i think i need to clear the drawings all right, we'll still have one more. Yeah, it would be a good idea if the classes start an hour, an hour earlier. Okay, <laughs> if the classes start an hour, or if the class lasts an hour, probably, uh, right, an hour earlier. Wouldn't it be a good idea to take some dessert after dinner? Hmm. I don't think it would be a good idea <laughs> but if you want if you like it's fine yeah sounds sounds yummy all right okay perfect nice all right tomorrow is a day off it's a holiday enjoy and take a look of the different lessons we still have ahead we still have classes on thursday and friday okay and evaluate okay take a look take some notes if it's possible okay so that we are going to discuss and continue with this lesson that is about basic checklist to evaluate the procedures remember that uh, mostly this unit is being about procedures. Of course, it's focused on the staff of a restaurant, right? As most of the content in the manual. All right, because 
we are not going to be able to cover much of this lesson. We're going to end. And let's have a look at the attendance. And let's see. Uh, hi, Adriana, not here. Carlos? Here. Christina? Kristen. Elsie? Hi, for my present teacher. Hector. Present teacher. Isabel. Present. Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. All right, Lucy, it's your turn today to participate in the 101 session. Do you remember? Yes. Can I take the time for Tuesday? All right. Anybody else wants to volunteer for tonight? Mayra? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Nuri? Present teacher. Roberto Carlos? Present. Present teacher. All right. Thank you, Samuel. Present. Vitalia? Walter? Present teacher. Present. Hi, Wendy. All right, cool. Okay, so have a good night. Be careful. Tomorrow is a day off, but you gotta control yourself. <laughs> okay, if this, the, yes, night. if the tradition, go to the, the cemetery, bring flowers, you too. Yeah. See Goodbye, you teacher. on Thursday good night. Good night. Bye bye. Teacher. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Tomorrow in the morning, uh, tomorrow I go to to, to work because, um, um, como decirle, dejé mi cartera. <laughs> I forgot my wallet. Mm -hmm. I forgot my wallet. At work. Um, and then. And the documents. Document, money, Bye. all, all, to, all. Everything. And the visible todo ahí, no sé. My God. But you Pero, can you can come in the office tomorrow just to pick up your things. Sí, eh, the fabric open open normal. Normal no. Open in in the day in, in the year, do we? During the day. All, uh, all day in in the night. Oh, really? Only, only vigilantes, como se llama? The security guard. Ah, uh, the security guard. <clears throat> Pero no, no, no cierran la empresa. Siempre really? pasa abierta. <clears throat> But the workers are not working tomorrow. Sí, trabajan, ¿no? Really? So they Era have like... Era empresa que yo conozco que no cierra. <laughs> so they have like a special shift tomorrow. Sí, y no se pierde nada. No sé. Really? Oh, wow. And where is sí. the company located? It's in Zona Franca, eh, San Bartolo. Oh, nice. So San it's Bartolo. near your house? Near. Mm -hmm. um, in 20, 20 minutes? 20 minutes from your house. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so, so also, you have to go car. like one hour in bed, go and come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably, right? But tomorrow, hopefully, there's not much traffic, right? See, but I go, I go in, in the morning, morning six, oh, wow. six, six a.m. Six a.m. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Any question or anything that you need help with? No. It's all right. No. Yes. It's okay. And the exercises yeah. in the platform? A uh, little, little. Just little problem. Little exercise. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you watch the videos? No. <laughs> I know what you need it. You don't. <laughs> All right. You're embarrassed to watch the video. <laughs> okay. Uh, poco tiempo, sí. <laughs> yes, you need to invest the time completing the exercises, definitely, sí. right? Yeah, it's a good idea just to focus, to check the manual, to complete the exercises, but you are working on time. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. okay. Anything else or any any other question, any topic that you would like to talk about? No. What about the topics from the manual? What do you think? What's your opinion? Mm. Pues... Ay, que eso todo lo estoy aprendiendo. <laughs> <laughs> It's new. Yeah, las cosas sí. It's new vocabulary. New vocabulary, new mm -hmm. structures, procedures. New procedures, exactly. Actually, yeah, uh -huh. it's very interesting because I guess we as customers never stop to think about the procedures that the servers or the staff that work in a restaurant have to follow, right? So maybe mm -hmm. for us, it's completely new. Mm -hmm. True, true, true. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, if there's not anything else, you just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Or you want to do another exercise? You want to practice English? And I no, I don't. I no practice English. Never. Never. At Just, work? <laughs> nah, at work. <laughs> Why? La idea, idea for me, for me, for me. Mm -hmm. Even practice with with my son mm -hmm. because um, eh, he's um, he's a study. Si se dice, él está yeah. estudiando. Yeah, he, he's he, a study in 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 Don Bosco mm -hmm. in level 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 four. Mm -hmm. The kids. And he is in, oh, how old is the he? Kid. Pero little. Ya, ya habla mejor que yo. <laughs> How old is he? Eh, ten. Ten. ten really? Uh -huh. And he's in level four. Y por pande 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 pandemia. Uh -huh. eh, de un año, digamos, no lo escribí. Lo escribí okay. este año. So he registered until this year. Yes, yeah. Nice. Pero be by talking about it's because Ooh. they watch a lot of videos they are on youtube they are on social media <laughs> they use a lot of games and everything is in english and in, in, in games and in games that, that yeah that they, they, the, exactly the they, they practice a lot of listening and they see a lot of vocabulary with games and with youtube with video with social media They are practicing unconsciously, but they are practicing like all the time, right? That's mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. So, do you have a conversation with him in English? Con él voy a hablar. Se supone que lo va a practicar. But start, start now. Sí. Uh -huh. And you only have one song. One song only. Okay, so practice every day. Say good morning, say how are you, get up, let's go, let's do this, but try. try the, to the, have basic mm -hmm. the basic vocabulary. Exactly, like daily activities. Mm -hmm. But at least you are practicing. And if he understands and you understand, then it's communication. That's yeah. the idea. Of course, you're not going to discuss about the manual from in so forth with your son because he's 10 years old right <laughs> so this is i mean something that is not interesting for him probably but his normal, pronunciation for my song it's good it's really good it's yeah good. because when you are a child when you learn from <laughs> yeah at an early age yes 
Parece Pero inglés, sí. se enrolla bien la lengua. Really? All right. <laughs> And what's his name? Joshua. Joshua, nice. Joshua. And he goes to school. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo? Ok. ¿En what level? Eh, quinto. Fifth grade. Eh, fifth. Mm -hmm. Es el fifth grade. ¿En he finished classes now? Yes, uh, only, uh, only exam. exam. Okay, so he's going only for exams this week. By November 5, mm -hmm. November 7. November 7, he finishes. Sí. Nice. Yes. And the grades are good. Yeah, sí. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good student. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, uh, right. Only 10, 5. And what does he prefer, the subject? Math, science, English, music, uh, artistic. Science. Science. He science. loves science. All right, nice. <laughs> Good. Yes. Yeah, now I mean, kids with technology are really, really smart. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's good for, for informat informatica. Yeah, they are really good. So he helps a lot <laughs> with the technology. <laughs> he said, Joshua, I have a problem with this company. Only 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh my God. Y de, de, nunca se ha sacado menos de 10. Desde really? Estaba en pre <laughs> My goodness. He's so smart. Sí, le, I... He loves computing. Yes. Nice. So probably he's going to be an engineer. Three, three years. Um, de tres años le di una, un teléfono. Really? When he was three years old? Oh my sí. God. <laughs> yes, now kids are really, really smart. Because... Es que le enseñé a ser cuidadoso, entonces ya él ya trabajó así. Ya le cuida todo, todo, todo. Wow, that's impressive. That's really yes. nice. <laughs> Okay, thank you for sharing about your song. That's really good. All right. Well, have a good night. Enjoy rest. And I see you on Thursday. Yes. See you Thursday. Thursday, yes. Thursday, Thursday. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.